In this presentation, we're going to look at formal tests for normality with R. Many statistical procedures assume that data, the data set being analysed is normally distributed. Now, there are two formal hypothesis tests in R that we could use to check whether or not this assumption is valid. One is the Anderson-Darling test, the other is the Shapiro-Wilk test. By and large, the null and alternative hypotheses work as follows. The null hypothesis of the tests is that the normal uh, is the data set is normally distributed. The alternative is that the data set is not normally distributed. We reject the test if we get a p-value less than 0 0.05. So we we assume that the data set is not normally distributed. If we get a p-value greater than 0 0.05, we can assume that we have a normally distributed data set. We fail to reject the null hypothesis. So the first test I'm going to look at is the Shapiro-Wilk test, and it's implemented in R using the command shapiro.test. So I have a data set here uh, called norm, and naturally norm is normally distributed. So the command is shapiro.test norm. That's the, de the name of my data set, norm. And we find that this data set is normally distributed. We have a very high p, uh, high p value of 0 0.25. In this case, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We can proceed with the um, assumption that this data set is normally distributed. So fail to reject null can assume normality. Okay, so I have a second data set here now called not norm, and I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to use the uh, Shapiro.test, and the data set is called not norm. Now, as you can imagine, this data set is not normally distributed. So let's enter it here. Well, we get a very low p-value, less than 5%. So in this case, we reject the null hypothesis. Um, not normally distributed. Okay. So that is the Shapiro test, and those are two converse examples. Just to be clear, we decided on this p-value here. So the second test is the Anderson-Darling test. Let's have a look at that. Well, first we must load a package called NORTEST. So it must be installed and loaded. And the NORTEST package was by Jürgen Gross of the University of Dortmund. And the command we're going to use is called ad.test. So that's the command we'd use to implement the Anderson-Darling test. So first off, I'm going to uh, install the package. So install nor test. Select a mirror. I'm in Ireland, so I will select Ireland. Just press all the options there. Just give it a second. There we go. Now I load it in, load the package. Nor test. There we go. I'm ready to use it now. So, AD test of my normally distributed data set. There we have it again. A p value of 0.18. This is higher than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we can assume normality. And looking at my other data set now, is the uh, not norm data set, AD test, not norm, 
Here we have a very, very low p-value, 0.08161. And in this case, we reject the null. And this data set is not normal. Again, oops, not normal. Ah, right, there. Here we go. Not normal. So, uh, this data set is not normally distributed low p-value. And that ends our presentation.